Good evening, students, and welcome to tonight's math video. Today we're looking at comparison word problems with equations. As we work out this unit with word problems with variables, it's important that you pay attention to the letter and the variable. In this unit, if your equation does not contain the variable as stated in the word problem, you will not be given credit for your answer. Let's take a look at this example. A flower store has 56 flowers. There are six times as many roses as tulips. Write an equation to show how many tulips T the store has. That phrase, six times as many roses as tulips, tells me I'm dealing with a comparison problem. So I'm going to set up my comparison picture. Since the problem is comparing roses and tulips, and then I see there are six times as many roses and tulips. I put six boxes next to roses and one box next to tulips. Next I see that that store had 56 flowers. My total, 56, I write to the side of my model. So, six times as many roses as tulips and 56 total. It's a multiplication comparison so something times something equals something. The product is the easy one to find. It's my total, 56. My first factor comes from my model. Six times as many roses and one times as many tulip gives me my first factor, which is seven. Seven times something is 56. That something is what I'm missing, and in this case, that something will tell me the tulips, T. So 7 times T is 56 is the equation for this problem. Now to solve that, I just need to think 7 times what is 56? In this example, T equals 8. So this store has 8 tulips. Let's look at another example. Caleb was playing a video game. It took him eight lives to beat the first world. It took him eight times as many to beat the second world. Write an equation to show how many lives L he used on the second world. Again, it's a comparison problem, so I'm going to set up my model. In this problem, I know that that first world took him eight lives, so I set up my model to show the first world with an 8 next to it. It then tells me that it took him 8 times as many to beat the second world. So for my second, I show 8 empty boxes. I need an equation to show how many lives he used in the second world. Since this line represents my second world, my equation is going to be based on this line. Something times something equals something. Here, I'm looking for the answer. I don't have my product. That's how many lives he used on this world. The variable L is going to be my answer. I know that each box stands for 8 based on the problem since it took him 8 lives to beat the first world. So one of my factors is the number 8. Now for my next factor, it's 8 times as many. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8 is also my second factor, giving me 8 times 8 equals L as my equation. To solve for L, I just have to multiply 8 times 8. So L equals 64, meaning he used 64 lives. Let's look at one more example. Victor was doing sit-ups. He did five times as many on Tuesday as he did on Monday. He did 45 sit-ups on Tuesday. Write an equation to show how many sit-ups S Victor did on Monday. I see times as many, so let's set up that comparison model. In my model I showed Tuesday and Monday 
with five times as many next to Tuesday as Monday. I know I need to find how many goes each box to solve for Monday. Only I'm not dealing with a total of 45, only 45 sit-ups for Tuesday, meaning that I'm really focusing on the top line of my model for this equation. Something times something equals something. The product is still the total, which is in this case the number of sit-ups for Tuesday, and that's 45. Since he did five times as many as Tuesday, there's five boxes there, I know my first factor is five. To solve my second factor, I need to think five times what is 45. Here's where my variable is going to come in. The number of sit-ups that fits in that box is going to also be the number of sit-ups he did on Monday. So 5 times s equals 45. Now I just solve for s, and I know that 5 times 9 equals 45, so s equals 9. This tells me that he did 9 sit-ups on Monday. Drawing the model is key to helping you solve these problems. As you do your quiz problems tonight, take your time. Check back at these three examples if you need to look at them again. And be sure to set up the model. Your teacher will be looking for your models when she checks your notes tomorrow. It's time for your check. Did you copy at least two examples from this video? If not, go back and do that now. Then on Canvas, complete the check that goes with this lesson. Remember, it is not really a quiz, and your teacher will use the information in class to set up groups for the lesson. It's important that you complete the check problems on your own, as your teacher will assume you understood how to do it independently if you get them all right. Have a good night, and we'll see you in the morning.